Hey guys, it's Cypher here and welcome to another wig and contact review. Also slightly makeup tutorial thing uh, for Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Uh, I've already done one for Bakugo, so I thought I'd do this as well. As I may have mentioned before, I hate doing voiceovers, so I'm just gonna go with it and cut to the good bits, I suppose. I don't know. So yeah, to save some time, I've already cleaned my face, uh, moisturised, always good to start with before you do any makeup. And uh, yeah, so now before I put any makeup on, I'm going to put my contacts in. To show you they, the, the cute little case they came with. Uh, they're from Peaky Paradise, but I will talk more about them once I, I've got them in. And so voila, got those in with no difficulty. Obviously they are very comfortable, very nice. Definitely more of the look I was going for. Uh, like I said, I got these from Pinky Paradise, I'll just give you a close up there. So, very nice. They're quite um, like a dark sort of, more, oh, that, there's a word, it's not like um, grass green, I suppose, that's the term. Uh, it's more like of a, oh, I can't, I can't really, it's uh, aquamarine? No, that's not the word. It's, it's just more of like a sort of dark, darker, vivid green which I really like the look of. So these are EOS or EOS, I don't know if you say that individually or as a word, uh, super neon green yearly contacts. Uh, like I said, they're very comfortable and very nice. So yes, I'm very happy with those. Because originally it was between these and I believe just super green ones. And these ones, like I said, are more dark, sort of more vivid green. And they weren't like bright green. They're a bit more toned down, maybe even got like more of a bluish tone to it, I suppose you could say. I can't really explain it very well, but it's not like the most vibrant green ever, which I thought was more sort of um, a good look for Deku, so yeah. Okay, moving swiftly on to the makeup. So I get my trusty headband. Oh, not that I've got a lot of hair to get out of the way, it just helps with like the strands at the front, so... So, yep, my face is already moisturised and everything, so just get straight on to putting on some foundation. I'm using just a true ivory one, I don't think it particularly matters which one you want. Uh, this is just my normal one, um, but Deku's not really like a pale boy. I don't think anyway, he's, uh, he's got a bit of colour to him, so, but yeah, I just figured this would be good, so... I'll just slap that on. So as you saw from my Deku Christmas, um, that was the first time I ever tried the makeup. I literally did it in 30 minutes, really. And for a first go, and the fact that it was so rushed, because it was literally, it was Christmas Eve, and I was still wrapping presents. And <laughs> yeah, it was fun. But all of a sudden I just thought, huh, I'll, uh, I'll do because I, I wanted to do like a cosplay Christmas video in some way or other, and I just thought, you know what? I'll just quickly have Deku give me something. All right, I think we are officially covered. I honestly look so pale <laughs> at the moment because I've got my bright light focusing in on me. Okay, next step is just uh, some concealer because my bags are always so bad. <laughs> actually, I don't know. I just feel like they're always bad because I never get any sleep. I uh, just I use my normal concealer. I do actually have two tones. One slightly ever so slightly got a bit more of a like warmer colour to it so I'm gonna go with that one just maybe to bring a bit more colour to my face. I always love the faces people make when they're applying makeup and I'm sure I'm pulling some pretty awesome ones right now. Uh, just going back to the context as well what I like is they make well, to me, they seem like my eyes already look slightly larger, which, again, with Deku is obviously a look I was going for, so they were sort of a better choice. Because you get those, um, oh, they're like really dolly ones, and they really, like, give your eyes a really kind of more rounded, but I think that was a bit too extreme, so, yeah, I know, very happy with this choice, and I'm just going to cover up some blemishes. How have I got one? I've got one like right there in my eyebrow. <laughs> like, how does that even happen? I look so much paler on camera than. Sorry, what device? Did I say Alexa? Sorry, I didn't find a device named Play Say Alexa. 
Excuse me. Alexa, shut up! Thank you for listening to Kerrang! Radio. Goodbye. Freaking technology. And this is supposed to take over the world? We're, we're all done for. We're just done for, friends. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I look a lot paler on camera than I do... Or <laughs> just like, what did I say to activate her? Uh, than I do in the mirror. So yeah, I may look really pale, but that is not so much the case. Okay, I actually think I'm going to try highlighting and contouring. As I said in the Bakugo one, my Hero Academia characters tend to have, you know, kind of a chubbiness to their cheeks, but then like I say, they got some sharp jawlines going on. Um, Deku is not really one of those. I mean, he, he does, but also he definitely has more of a chubbiness than, than most. He's, he's got he's got the baby cheeks. Maybe to define that a bit more, I might just sort of make my cheeks try and look a little bit more rounder, because, I mean, I've got kind of a round face anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing, so we're just we're just gonna go with it and hope for the best. So uh, I'm just gonna because normally uh, I would highlight more straight because I'd like angle my cheekbones more. So I'm gonna try doing it with a bit more of a rounder uh, kind of look. Actually, I don't know if I should have put setting powder on before. I'm very much an amateur when it comes to makeup. I kind of just repeatedly do the same thing and don't really try doing anything new. And being a cosplayer, that, um, it's not exactly... <laughs> I think actually cosplay gives me more of an excuse to, because, you know, you try and sort of change your features to match a character's. So, yeah, tends to be... So, uh, I might... Because uh, I want to give him a little... You know, cheapy nose, but I'll concentrate on the cheeks first. Okay, so if I put some highlighter and then I've got this uh, contouring highlighter stick. And the thing is, well, Deku is obviously still a boy, so you do want to, although he is a soft boy, so you do want to uh, still contour the cheeks. Like, I don't know where my cheekbones are. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go for it here. Okay, I think that looks okay. I'm not gonna panic, but my vision just went a tiny bit blurry. Um, I find that with contacts though, they sometimes you, you do get that sort of weird look. And people are like, huh, no, you're probably just losing your sight. Okay, against my better judgment, I am gonna just slightly contour my jaw because, like I say, you gotta have them angles, <laughs> even for a soft boy like Deku. Again, rambling, but I find sometimes I don't even see the effect when I'm doing the makeup. I really don't see any difference, but you know, obviously it is there, so I don't know whether I'm just not doing it right or whatever. But even if I like put like it heavily on, I still feel it's like not quite there. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Getting in that chin. That's my paltry face. I'll try and do this while you can see me and also me looking into the mirror, so we will try and... But I'm just uh, going with, like, uh, a light brown, basically. And I'm just gonna... Try and... Accentuate, I suppose that's the word. Around this... Uh, I might actually use a different brush, this one. It's a bit more, because that one's slightly bigger, so spread out further. Okay, try now. Now a bit more. That's what I'm not good at. I'm not good at blending. Why am I doing this? I feel like I'm just <laughs> mess. Just mess. Right. Just if you could just try and basically make your eyes look rounder then you, you've done your job. Put a... Oh, is that the sun? I believe it is. Oh. Uh, and I'm gonna use... I kind of wish I had a smaller brush than this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use that. And really go in for like a doomy kind of 
look. Because if there's one thing Deku's got, it's some big ass eyes. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but there's just a door squeaking in the background. It's very windy here, so. Okay, I'm happy with that actually, so I'll stick with that. Right, moving on swiftly. Uh, eyebrows. I'm gonna stick with my actual eyebrow shape. Um, Deku has quite thin eyebrows, I suppose, but they're very, like, archy. I suppose they're archy. Um, they've got quite a prominent arch to them, but, uh, um, normally I, like when I do my normal makeup, I usually obviously, um, give my brows a bit more of a bend, I suppose. I don't even know what the terms are, just, just go with me here. So it's got a bit more of a defined look, but I just kind of, more, my natural kind of look is still like more, like you can see it's just a bit more and then I give it the extra bit when I do makeup. I hope that makes sense. His hair is obviously green, um. And I suppose his eyebrows are so small it wouldn't really matter what colour you do them, but obviously kind of a dark green is necessary. And actually on this palette, ooh, on this palette, uh, colours don't come across so well, but I'm going to go with this green. Because it matches more actually with the contact colour and also my wig. Um, only thing is, all these uh, eyeshadows do have a slight um, uh, glitter to them, so that looks he looks quite precious. Okay, so... I'm going to have to get quite close in for this, so I apologise if I cover anything up. So, yeah, just following my natural eyebrow. Try not to, I'm not going to make it too thick. But I will give it a bit more volume. Okay, so moving on to the actual eyes. Um, for my last attempt, I did actually use like black eyeliner to define the eye a bit more, but um, before I do that, I'm going to go in with dark brown because that is so much easier. Okay, so with this, what I did last time, I believe, is I, I did follow my eye shape, but in the middle, I made the line slightly thicker so it kind of came out a bit more, and it just helps make that circular effect. Okay, it's definitely more what I was going for. And I think I will go over it in black just to give it that more defining feature. So I, I've got several different eyeliners, but I've got one here that you can use with a brush, which is a little more precise to use. See that it's water eyeliner and that, that always I find even the nice one can go really crusty. So I know I just said all that, but <laughs> the other one is not spreading as much as I would like it to, so we're going in with liquid. Oh, this always makes me nervous. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, very quickly, just put a slight shadow under the eye. Just ever so slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Now, for the best part. Deku wouldn't be Deku without his freckles. So we're just gonna jump straight into that. Now for my last one, I actually, so he's got the classic four, but I kind of gave him some smaller ones, like kind of around here, so I'm using, uh, it's actually a eye, eye definer, which I use usually for my brows. And I used to have a really small brush that would have been very helpful right now, but we are just going to go with this. So I'm, I'm literally going to do this as faintly as is humanly possible. So, I don't know if you can see, it's just 
trying, I'm trying to make them not so defined, but also you do kind of want to see them. Not too much. Right. Now I'm going to use setting powder. Don't want to rub them off, obviously, but if I can dim them down just a little bit. Yeah, that's more like it. I always love how in like fan fiction, it's always like, oh, this is a constellation of ste uh, steckles. <laughs> constellation of freckles and like joining them up and whatnot and I did see a really funny um, fan art once uh, someone on tumblr posted like uh, Bakugo like you know connect uh, Deku's freckles and I, I you know, actually I can't remember what he wrote but he, I think he just wrote like nerd or something literally just across his face and I was like oh Kachan gotta love him Not necessary step, but maybe just to look a bit more. I don't know. In with it. I'm. I'm literally doing like one very thin layer. Mascara. Okay, so now it's just time for the wig. Now this is meant to be a review as well, so this is my Deku wig. Time to put this bad boy on. Do you know, I never do the clasp thing at the back. Oh. Alright, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. What the frick is going on here? Okay. We're on. <laughs> okay, so here is the wig on. And for me, it's awesome. Like, I love it so much. This was... This is officially the first wig that I got that's styled. So now on to the actual review bit. So I got this wig from Etsy from uh, Geisha? Geisha? Geisha, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Cosplay. G-E-S-H-A. Geisha? I'm gonna go with Geisha. It came from Russia and altogether it was $125 including shipping so it was a hundred dollars for the item and then another 25 for the shipping i found all like styled wigs come from russia like that's where i got my uh, bakugo one but that was from a different seller so again i scoured the internet trying to find one because i wasn't going to attempt to try and style one because i'm just i'm not i'm not a good styler i really am not and I know practice makes perfect, but it was one of those things like, I'm not gonna, for this one, I, I'm not gonna go through the trouble of buying a wig and hoping that it works. And I honestly couldn't be happy with it. It it has that, um, what I really, really love about it, it's got that gradient to it that some wigs didn't have. They were either just like all green or, yeah, just really not. Whereas this has got, like, it's darker, which it fades into dark, which is more what Deku's hair is like, if you actually look at it. It's not just green, it's got a bit more dark to it, so I went with that. The style itself, I'll be honest, it works. You know, I, I can't say it's exactly how I pictured it, but nobody's perfect, so uh, if you look, actually, you can kind of see the curls kind of go over to more one side, but the thing is, Deku's hair isn't, it's not perfect, you know, you can't, because there's the thing, because you, you see those ones that are, so like incredibly styled that it doesn't even look like hair anymore it just looks it looks fake really and I know you know when you draw a character it's a lot different than when you actually bring them to life and there is that difference because you know you're bringing a made-up character into real life so and it, it all depends what works for you personally like I said I try and bring more of a natural look to my cosplays at least I try to I I you know Unless it's really like something you can't avoid. Like I try and it's more try natural, which is why I think I went for this one because 
it just seemed out of all the options it was just the more natural one as i said it came from moscow it took three to four weeks i think like from the last one i ordered it on the first november and it came i believe it was after christmas so it was just either just after christmas no what am i telling about i did my i did my <laughs> how can i say that when i did my uh, deku christmas thing on christmas eve so I feel like it either came the day before that because I remember obviously getting it and being like oh I really want to do something with this ah, and then at Christmas and that's why I ended up doing my deck of Christmas thing. It feels uh, really soft actually, um, not incredibly soft but it's got kind of a soft like, bulk to it and it's so poofy, like actually at the back it's got like the, the curls, you can see the curls. I don't really want to touch it because I'm like, ah. I've never had like a properly styled wig before, so this this is new to me. Um, because I've I have styled other wigs, but nothing really extreme. I suppose the most extreme one would be Kogami. Um, but that's it's kind of more of a of a assembled mess than actual like proper styling. I, I'm very happy with this wig. It's got the kind of volume I wanted as well, like because Deku's got quite a bit of a bush on his head and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely check them out. Uh, Geisha Cosplay, again, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, very good. They also do Todoroki, Bakugo and Kirishima and you just put in which one you want and they should be sending you one and uh, no spoilers but I have ordered another one. Um, I wonder if you can guess who. <laughs> well, it'll either be between Todoroki or Kirishima because I have Bakugo already, so. So yeah, all in all, both great purchases. Contacts are very comfortable, exactly the shade I wanted. Green in the contacts matches the kind of green on top, and I don't remember what you call this green. It's like, I mean, these are called neon, but I don't know if that's what I'd really call it because neon in my mind is like that really in your face kind of bright green. Uh, but I don't know. Um, it's a nice colour either way. So yeah, I couldn't be happier. And yeah, I'm just trying to think, did I? I don't think I said, I think the contacts uh, were something like, because these are, these are yearly ones. And I, uh, I want to say they were something like between 28 to 30 pounds, similar to my other ones. Something like that. But I also got uh, a free two free sets of contacts like they were only like one month ones or one usage but i remember uh, Peaky paradise contacted me and said you're entitled to two pairs of free contacts so like pick one you want and at the time i was a bit like well there's not any other contacts i want but because they had a, a sec a select range that you could choose from so i kind of looked through and i think i might actually use one of them for kogami because, uh, spoilers, um, again, I'm doing Kogami as one of my cosplays for MCM Comic Con in May. Cannot wait. I'm so excited. It's been a year since I've been, but obviously I would not change going to Japan for anything. So, a fair trade, in my opinion. More than a fair trade. Kind of like I said before with Kachan, I feel pretty dang cute in this. It's like, Kachan makes me feel... I... I swear, I gotta, I gotta listen to the audio because if you can hear that bloody door, it's just that was a face. That was a face I pulled just then. Cartoon makes me feel quite badass. God, English, badass. How do you say it? It's like, makes me feel so badass. Badass, as us English posh folk say. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, Kartsky makes me feel pretty fucking cool and. Deku makes me feel pretty freaking cute. Again, I will be cutting this out and then decide not to because it is amusing to me. Yes. Before I do anything though, I am taking a bloody thumbnail picture because every time I do a video, I never think to take a thumbnail picture. And I actually bother with them now, so. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. Always appreciated. As well as a little comment, you know whatever you like and i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you have any questions about anything feel free to leave a comment below and if you want to know when i next do a video be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so you know when i next do my video 
Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.